Climate change is already causing. But if we want to avoid catastrophe. More than a dozen people have died in India in the past two months due to a severe heat wave. If there was an award ceremony for the hottest year since 1880, 2020 and 2016 would share that award. Not just that, a whopping 19 of these awards would go to the years after 2000s. Clearly, the 2000s are killing it when it comes to this. After all, climate change is real and can be catastrophic. It's melting our glaciers, flooding our states, causing heat waves, landfill fires and wildfires too. Plus, the UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change or the IPCC says climate change would be irreversible after the year 2030. That's just eight years from now. So it's clearly an alarming issue and we can't choose to ignore or overlook it anymore. Hi, I'm Neelakanta Bhanu, the world's fastest human calculator and on the World Environment Day 2022, which is today, I would like to discuss the crisis of our times, climate change. Climate change is the long-term shift in temperatures and weather patterns mainly caused by human activities. What are the causes of climate change? Generating a lot of power through fossil fuels, manufacturing goods, cutting down forests, using transportation and consuming resources in an unsustainable fashion. Now the question is, what's the way out? So the emission of carbon dioxide is the real villain here. Greenhouse gases to be more specific, but we'll focus on carbon dioxide since it's the most powerful one and omnipresent as a villain which we need to tackle. Let's look at the top industries that emit the most carbon dioxide. Whether we pick electricity and heat production sector or industries, or we pick agriculture food, a common theme emerges among both of these, which is in all these sectors, carbon dioxide is emitted due to the burning of fossil fuels. By reducing carbon emissions, we can reduce the impact of climate change drastically. That's what using sustainable and renewable energy sources can do for our environment. However, there's a consistent way to measure the impact of these steps on the environment using math, to be specific, mathematical modeling. How can math help in measuring climate change? The reason why mathematical and statistical modeling is still our best tool to understand an overall picture of how climate change is happening is because mathematical modeling would help us be objective in our analysis and understanding of what climate change is. Understanding the sensitivity and time scales and the reasons for such extreme events in the future. Understanding the relation between the causes and effects over both long term and short term. Predicting the effect of climate change, example being flooding, food scarcity and understanding carbon footprint left by us in every single activity which we go in. Here's how climate models work. It all starts with the laws of physics. Then partial differential equations are used to represent these laws of physics to extrapolate what weather and climate change will occur over the median short and the long period. Finally, we plug in historic data, quantity, uncertainty and solve for it numerically to see where we would be headed considering the scales of what we are doing currently. Navier-Stokes equations like these describe the weather. Math and sciences contribute a lot to our understanding of the world around us. And the changes that we as human beings make to the earth have huge repercussions. In times of crisis, what we require is unity and innovation which can help us weather this impending crisis. So let's envision and work towards a better future for we have only one earth.